Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. I've got a couple of card projects for you today featuring a spotlighting technique using red rubber background stamps. So I've got my Misty here. I'm going to start with my first project and get a piece of cardstock loaded up into my Misty. And I'm going to be using this really cool backdrop stamp from Neat and Tangled. It's just a rectangular piece of photopolymer. So I'm just going to center that on my cardstock and get it picked up with the door of my Misty. And then I'm going to take everything out of my Misty. I've got a Gina K Designs Music Medley Red Rubber Background Stamp. And I'm going to ink up that stamp with a soft stone. So I'm just going to ink up just a little part of this stamp and making sure I get a nice even transfer. I'll close the door of my Misty and press those two stamps together. Now that backdrop stamp will pick up the image of the music medley and transfer it onto the photopolymer stamp. I'm going to ink up the background stamp again to make sure I get a nice transfer of ink. And then I will very quickly remove that stamp, put my mouse pad back in and my cardstock and then stamp the image down. Pressing nice and firm, making sure I get a good even transfer of the ink. And now we have a framed spotlight of that music medley. I'm going to grab the big hello stamp set and use the word hello. And I'm going to stamp that with my peach bellini ink. And I stamp it several times to make sure I get a nice dark impression. And then I grabbed a couple of the flowers from the stamp set and I inked them up with sweet corn. And again, I stamped those a couple of times too. And then a couple of the leaves from the stamp set and I stamped them with key lime ink. And then that's going to be it for stamping. I'm going to get this card adhered to my card base. I just trimmed the panel down just a little bit and then I grabbed a piece of craft foam and adhered that in behind my panel and then I adhered everything to my card and then I decided I wanted some sequins on this card to give it a little bit of sparkle. I've got some tailored expression sequins and a Marvie jewel picker and some Gina K connect glue and I'll adhere some sequins scattered around my card and that's going to be it. Here's a look at some of that sparkle. Here's a close-up look at the finished card project. Okay, moving on to the second card. So I'm going to use the same technique for that spotlighting stamping, but I'm going to use a few different stamps. So I've got that same neat and tangled backdrop stamp and a piece of cardstock, and I'll get it loaded up into my Misty. And then I will remove the cardstock and the pad and stamp with Gina K Designs Cherry Red Ink. And for this red rubber stamp, I'm using the Gina K Designs Rose Lace stamp. And I will get my backdrop stamp all inked up with the cherry red ink. And then I'll quickly move my cardstock back into my Misty along with my Misty mouse pad. And I will close the door of the Misty and press down on that stamp, making sure I get a good transfer of ink. And I just got that backdrop stamp a little bit crooked. I'm going to trim it a little bit so that I can straighten it up. And then I've got the Gina K Designs Vintage Rose stamp set. And I'm just going to use the big rose image in this one, along with the Gina K Designs Scripty Encouragement. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says, I love you. And I'm going to use VersaFine Onyx Black ink for that. And I'll stamp that to make sure we get a nice dark black impression. And then I decided to heat emboss this to give it a little bit of shine. So I'll heat emboss using clear embossing powder and then I'll heat it until it's smooth and melted. And then I'm going to grab a couple of random alcohol markers. No, I'm not going to do any shading. I'm just going to do some basic coloring just to make that rose pop off of the card. And then I will grab a piece of black cardstock to make a, a matte layer in behind my panel. And then grab a piece of craft foam, adhere that behind my panel, and then adhere this to my card. And that's it. So here's a close-up look at the finished card project. I think this is very classy and elegant and you can use this for anybody because I love you can apply to a lot of people in your life. And that's it for today's video. 
Thank you so much for stopping by to spend a little bit of your time with me here today. I appreciate all of the support. Coming up on screen are a few videos that I think that you may enjoy. So have yourself a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!